thank you so much for talking with Two Fab today. We are longtime fans of both of you. Um, I'm oh, very, you. very looking. Much, I'm looking forward to this podcast. It sounds like it's going to be a fun one. I think a lot of people are jumping into podcasting now, and I'm just curious for you, whose idea was it, and did anyone maybe need more convincing than the other? No, basically, we were. <laughs> Everyone is always like, you guys need to have your own show. You guys always need to have your own show, like our own friend group. And then, so basically, Jeff and I basically quarantine bubbled together. And okay. when it just kind of came up and we tried one and everyone really liked it. And then within a matter of days, they came, Podcast One came to us with a deal and it just kind of, it ha- happened so kind of organically and generically. It wasn't like, I've woken up and decided to be a podcaster. <laughs> I did the whole series with my family before and Jeff had been asked to do a bunch of stuff. And then we were like, why don't we just do our own? And we have so much fun doing it. It doesn't feel like work or anything like that, does it? No. Oh, well. <laughs> how many have you guys recorded so far and how has it so been we going? Probably had about eight to 10 or like six to eight. Um, yeah, but we, you know, we also like, we knew we'd probably get, we did them like they were, they were alive, but like, you know, we got to find the wrong voice. We both just produce so much live content that this is like, you know, this is like making a, a live show, but on audio and video. So mm. we really had to find our voice. We did a lot of trials, we did about 10, like she said, and we've, we've really figured out our voice and messaging and, and the format of it. So we're really excited. So with the next on Monday, we're going to film our first one that, lock, that drops next Monday. Yeah. Okay. I'd like to go back and redo the first one, not changed. Mm. We can come by the stuff out of that. No, like, talk about it's it. true. Yeah. I was going to say, I know that you, uh, I think, have said the first episode is now going to kind of revolve around your relapse announcement yeah. this week. I, Obviously, you've been very I'm open like, about it. It's not because I'm publicizing <laughs> my relapse. It's that it's about our lives, and we couldn't, it, everything that we just did doesn't make sense now that I've fucked up. So mm. it, it had to be redone. And we're getting there. We're oh my god! I think my dog has fleas. Oh no! <laughs> oh. It's the old house. No, they're not. That's not how it works. Just <laughs> yeah, I know you are both open books. Always have been. Um, I I guess are there any conversations that you're planning on having that you're maybe going into with some trepidation or you're, you're kind of wondering episode, how it's going to go? I, I mean, all of it. It's it's the first episode she's going to talk about her sobriety and she's probably giving me an intervention. Yeah. <laughs> Is it needed? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> I've like got so, I've already like listed all the things that I'm going to go in on him at because <laughs> that like Jeff's problem isn't with drugs and alcohol. Jeff's problem is with gambling. Mm. And every day is. I mean, look, I get addiction is addiction. You know, it doesn't matter. One replaces with another thing, you know? Like yeah. I, I got the food under control and I got more into gambling. If it's not gambling at the black chip people, it's in the stock market. It's not the stock market, it's in the crypto market. You know, you got to get it all under control. And I, as I say, it seems like you two, even though you're very different people, do have things that are in common, you know, when it comes to struggling with weight and maybe different it, kinds of addiction. It's weird. As human beings, Jeff and I couldn't be more different. Like we couldn't. Yeah. Um, but we couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but our struggles are the same. And I think that that's always what has connected us because we've both seen each other go through the same stuff yeah. and always been there no matter what. And mm. I think that for, I mean, not to speak for Jeff, it's just when you go through so much shit with someone, there's a certain times where like, there's certain things that, I can only call Jeff for it because he's mm. the only person in the world that 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 gets it. Yeah. And I'm I he he cannot hide anything from me. I know <laughs> everything about him. How is it, you know, looking back at some of these, like I'm assuming you're gonna talk about a lot of the wild, super, you know, wilder days, early days of Beecher's Madhouse too, and what kind of stuff went on then. Just you know, how um, you- I think that's a part of it, but that story's already been told. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it, it, it's happened. I think it's more about like, but 
now versus then and our perspective and how it's changed in the sense like we aren't fucked up or angry or fat anymore yeah. we have like really taken a look at ourselves and reevaluated and figured out what's working and what's not and it's it's crazy like just the situations that even with the madhouse no longer being a thing that jeff and i daily face like people just wouldn't believe it oh i'm sure do you want to tease any of that and then (laughs) crazy stuff like in the no and then there's also like non-crazy stuff you know like we want to really help people like we're both very passionate about physical health and how fixing our mental health helped our physical health yeah. and no one's perfect and you know kelly just did something i was so proud of her for by you know just like getting in front of the fact that she you know fell off the wagon and telling everyone and you know everyone's calling me like why she did that i go i know i didn't even, I didn't even talk to kelly that week and i'm like i know exactly why she did it because she put herself in front of it to say hey yeah. look at me am i wrong no, because you, you're looking at it from like a publicist. Point no, not at all. Looking at the accountability um, wheel. And like, yeah, for me, it's all about like yeah. accountability. Like yeah. I know that I couldn't fully move forward if I didn't tell everybody what I'd done. Yeah, because like yeah, uh, you don't want to sit on it either. So yeah. Gonna, so so the of corona, I had like a crazy OCD breakdown. And people were like, oh, you're scared of corona. I was like, no, I had a mental breakdown. Like OCD can go really far. Like how would you use an aviator? Yeah. Like when Leo DiCaprio played him. Like, like, so like I spraying each other with Lysol. My doctor, mm-hmm. like, you know, my how do you get out of this? He's like, I'm Prozac, and I'm like, I don't want to go on drugs. And he's like, Well, I know. went on Lexapro. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, Nothing wrong with out. that. You know, he's like, You got to work out. You got to work out hard an hour or two a day. So then I went on social media. And I was like, All right, I'm going to work out for the next 90 days. And I just put myself to make myself accountable for it. And I did it every day, no matter what. You know, and I lost yeah. my last 60 pounds of of uh, fat on my body. Congratulations. Thanks. Total of 260. That's incredible. <laughs> Almost 19. So it's like we both are going coming through the other side of all of this kind of self-doubt and I don't even know yeah, how to I'm put at, it. Like, I'm at 25 during this pandemic. Yeah. So. <laughs> We're all doing something. <laughs> That's not but, easy. No, it's not. You know, it 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 takes work, and it does take that accountability and finding and whatever like, works for you. One of the things we did was that we were like, we've got nothing else to do. If we can answer all of our work emails, no one's really working on our phones. So let's just walk. So we did like ten thousand steps every day. Nice. That's good. And like. I- we found this one hike and there was a couple of people that were like, well, if you want to see Jeff and Kelly, we have to just go on that hike. We had surgery. So it's like, we can only consume so much as well. Yeah. But yeah. that being said, like, if you don't do this right, it doesn't work. Yeah. No, so it, do, it doesn't work at all. Yeah. We have friends that did the surgery and they are, back if not more than what they were before they did it yeah no it happens Definitely so it's it, it, it isn't a quick it's a, it's a gentle nudge in the right direction not mm-hmm. a quick <laughs> and for the podcast i guess what kind of guests can we expect is there anyone who's like maybe your dream your dream get well we kelly and i don't, we don't call them dreams we call them goals you know like we'll, okay. get, we'll get everyone on the podcast like you know even <laughs> well, like who's gonna teachers, turn you guys when, down like when i had features mad ass people like who who came? I'm like, who didn't come? Tom Cruise never came. <laughs> but I know most people, everyone else did from Johnny Depp across the board, yeah. you know, to Bieber. <laughs> um, so, you know, we're going to have from celebrities and entertainment to, you know, the, the best doctors in the world and, you know, really cool scientists. It's, everything. Yeah, it's topical as well. Depends, like, for example, we're talking about relapse prevention. Oh, what is this? <laughs> How is there a siren going up this street? The first episode, we're talking about like my slip. So I brought in a uh, expert in addiction and relapse prevention, and he's also a sober companion. He's somebody who did an intervention on me. Got it. The day, so we, you know, to kind of, you know, share my story as well as educate. And yeah. so it, it depends, like, on what it is we're talking about or doing. 
Like yeah. we're going to have an episode where I finally joined TikTok. <laughs> and so we're like right now going through the list of different TikTok people that are stars. Oh, to do. That <laughs> I know and that's going to be the challenge. They're going to teach me all of this. It's going to be hilarious <laughs> because I just, it's not me. But, <laughs> no, um, it's, it's really awesome to kind of get to do with, with all the friends that we've made. And yeah. Now I have one last question because I don't want to take up any more of your time, but I noticed that we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of your debut album slash Papa Don't Preach, <laughs> which Is seems it really insane. Years? Next year's 20 years. <laughs> By the way, that, that's when we met. I'll let Kelly get into her own really? stuff, but that's when we met. And I went on, I went on tour with her as, as a groupie and I would wear a pink, I'd wear a pink Kelly Osborne yeah, really. t-shirt. And I, nice. I, was, I, was, I was on the train. Oh, yeah, the bus, yeah. Yeah. On DMC in his underwear yeah. as well. Like, just, <laughs> nice it was so boy. funny. We've been friends a long time. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years. Pop it on preach. You got to do like a whole NFT and like drop on it. Right. We need, it. A, we need an anniversary something. Yeah. I mean, I'll think about <laughs> it. That would be fun, actually. I actually would, you know, I still talk to my band all the time. We're all still friends. And now that I know that it's actually 20 years, maybe we'll do a show. All right, I go. <laughs> what is it? What's that? When is it? It's, uh, it's dogs are barking. 20, things are being big news. <laughs> what um? What what is the exact twenty year anniversary? Do you know? Uh, I don't know what it is exactly, but I know it's next year. <laughs> oh my god! For the album, at least, yeah. But yeah, I was a fan of the music. Oh my god! Don't even you just revved him up. Words. He's gonna shove me out on the stage again. I know. Two with Tom the Metal. Twenty years too. Yeah. So uh, next year, it all years. comes together, full circle. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like doing the math in his head. I'm like, what are we gonna get ourselves into now? <laughs> well, I look forward to that happening. And uh, thank you guys both for your time today. I can't wait to listen to this podcast. It sounds like it's gonna be. Thank you. So much. It was so great speaking with you. <laughs>